Hey, what's up, my little nuggets of doom? It's March 30th. So I just wanted to talk about being a realist in today's modern world. <sighs> little things, little things I notice out and about, and I'm not alone. You know, I'm not special, okay? This channel, like me, there's there's nothing to attack because there's nothing there. You know, my existence has been fruitful and I've helped people and made a difference, but if I didn't, if I wasn't here, I could have been easily replaced by someone else. So, you know, I'm, I don't know what's that called, uh, ego detachment, being humble, I don't know. You could use those adjectives. I'm not claiming anything. I just know what I stand for is the truth and telling, uh, reporting what's happening because I think it's the most noble thing you can do is to literally talk about the end of human civilization, which is fast approaching. So meanwhile, I have to coalesce with modern society and work, make meager paycheck, spend all my money on just bullshit. And I also frequent, on my other part-time, frequent the Doomer boards and forums, groups, online communities, what have you. Fun times, fun memes, you know, lots of gallows humor going around. There's the usual, the usual suspects, you know, floating around the Doomosphere, but uh, overall people keep it fresh, and we know that we're all in this you know, witnessing, being a witness to the collapse of human civilization as we know it, reaching peak oil years ago. Um, so, get to the point, okay? You have, you're a realist, you have to coalesce with normal society, go about your day to day, and the things that people do, I know some of you report on my channel, and we can talk about that a little bit more, um, you know, when you break the truth to somebody, like I just told a few individuals today, and I know many of you as well do, you you, you have to hang out with normies. You you have to, by arrangement. And this weird thing happens when you actually say the truth. For instance, you could say something like, do you know greenhouse gas emissions are on the rise despite global warming uh, being a major threat? Do you realize that... Uh, we're in a sustained drought and that no matter, you know, what historical pretext you try to point out, the fact of the matter is we've never had that much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere or even just simple, you know, that we're in the sixth mass extinction. You know, you can get scientific or you can get basic and whatever the premise, whatever your, your mood and attitude at the moment is, you know, we have these chemical receptors that make us go through each day. Whatever, I don't want to lose you. Point is, people laugh. They just laugh in your face. They're like, <laughs> nervous chuckle. I know what you're saying, man. It's, ugh. It's so alarming. You know, look, going off on a tangent, women might think I have like mental illness or something. You know, like, who's this guy? What is he fessing about on the screen? What's his problem? Well, the truth is, I'm just enlightened with so much knowledge. I am enlightened with so much information that it makes me look crazy. It makes people laugh at me. When I say the most elementary of truths, you know, pick any fact from the IPCC or that, you know, it's 99.9% .9 consensus that humans cause climate change. And we've never been here in human history, nor can we even survive it. And you just get la <sighs> chuckle. It's like there's so the really the the diagnosis there is I think an extremely delusional person who is so inward that when they hear something like that that's inform that's so foreign to them. I mean, obviously this is what's going on. Information that's so foreign, they have no choice but to like laugh. They literally don't know how to handle it. You know, some people get, some of them get angry, some, just, it's the nervous chuckle that weirds me out, actually. Because at least with the angry people that get angry at me when I tell them the truth, on Facebook, you know, or wherever, it's like, they're just in denial. They're like in a hard state of denial and ego attachment to their pre-constructed beliefs about this arrangement. You know, you can't convince people out of it. Yeah, we've been we've been down this road before. So you have to coalesce with society. You have to exist in it. 
and just get a new frame, yeah, just a new frame of mind. You know, I've been through this whole evolution, wanting to yell at people and luxury vehicles and all that, and I still want to, but you look at it and it was rigged from the get go. It was rigged from the get go. So you're fussing and fighting over nothing. That's what it took me years of expulging my energy over the subject on camera and in real life and getting zilch nowhere. Okay. And Congress isn't doing anything. Don't get me started on that. They're all driven by money and raising campaigns for themselves. Okay. They weren't the ones to save us. No one in, no one in power was there to save us. So, on a more personal note, I was at a restaurant last night and saw a woman, very attractive woman my age, I guess you could call it her a MILF, and two children and her normal dapper looking husband, maybe a few years older than me, just in la la land, you know, just... I looked at her in the eyes. She looked. It was one of those things. She probably looked at me in the eye. She looked at me in the eyes, but she didn't register it. She's in the in the family world. So much activity is going on there, like in a bubble. Oh hi guys! You know that we have a code red for humanity. That we're fast approaching two degrees of global average temperature. We've already passed it because we moved the baseline back. You realize this that your children have no future. You know what I mean? Just knowing this information, it's too maddening. People can't walk around with this. It completely ruptures your like re regular life fragments it you have to like you have to compartmentalize and exist and in, instill in nature with people civilization this technology this is all a technology okay so yeah the things i encounter daily is people sort of half-assed ridiculing me by chuckling that's basically saying like ha i don't believe you and just existing amongst so many clueless morons all the time. Okay. It, it's so over... It, at first, it's so overpowering. If you can... The first easiest thing to do is just to deny it all. Easy. Just to be in denial. You don't have to change your paradigm of your life at all. Yeah, this isn't uncommon knowledge. Okay. And so... My subscribers ask about joy and where you can find joy in times of great collapse. I think it's the simple pleasures. I think it's not how much... I'm going to agree with this statement somewhere. I heard this yesterday. It's not about how much you have. It's about making the most of what you have. That's not a surprise. It's kind of an old... You know, you could. You're, otherwise you're tricking your brain, you know? Find like three or four things that bring you joy. What do I mean by joy? Uh, content, maybe like escapism. You know, it could be video games. That could be meaningful work. I mean, unless you're spending like 10, 12 hours a day on it, that's probably unhealthy. But look, that's neither here nor there. You have to take care of your own mental sanity. And I find joy and mm, probably an easy example is like girls, a girl. Intimate relations, okay, that's one. If, I, if, I may, if I'm granted that, you know, I'm not entitled to anything. Like I said in the beginning of this video, there's nothing here. All this is constructed. Oneness. Oneness, that's the concept. But boundaries. But you have to set boundaries and protect yourself. That's where I draw the line. Exist in society. Be in harmony with your true nature. But set boundaries. Because you have to protect yourself. And I know. You're not alone, guys. I exist in this world, too. I'm out and about every day. Dumb, dumb, normie, clueless morons everywhere. N completely just can't even turn to each other, can't even look at each other. I mean, we don't even say hi. We don't say hi to each other. Go to, go to Sam's, go to, go to the grocery store. We're just witnessing our own demise. 
I just tune it out, compartmentalize, find joy in firearms, girls, Una, movies, video games, exercising, okay, eating healthy. I'm still a person. I'm just a regular ass person. I'm not a person, you know, suffering and and uh, anywhere, or I'm not. I'm not like deprived of food and new, new essential nutrients. I'm not in, in Somalia, okay, or in China being watched. I'm just, I'm floating, okay, and I'm. I'm. We're witnessing this. There's a little brain here, along with all your little meat sauce, and we're just witnessing it, still existing in it. It's like the Twilight Zone, yep. Okay, hope that was helpful. You're not alone. I'll talk to you later, Doomers. I mean realists. See ya.